Welcome back once again to howtocookwithfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna make a fantastic lamb dish today. As you can see, I've got a mixing bowl here and I've got some lovely cubed lamb in there. There's no bone, a little bit of fat, which is actually good. What we're gonna do simply, we're gonna get over a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna get some salt in there. And then here I've just got a few spices, let me show you what they are. I've got some black pepper, I've got some chili powder, some cumin, and there I've got a smoked paprika. Just on the end I've got a tiny amount of green cardamom powder. This is like a quarter of a teaspoon, these are about a teaspoon each. Be careful with paprika because paprika comes in a hot, a sweet and a smoked. This is the smoked one, if you were using the hot one you wouldn't really need the chili because you'd be basically adding two lots of chili. In it goes. Simply we're gonna give this a mix around. And I wanna leave this mixture for at least an hour, a couple of hours covered in the refrigerator, you know, with some shrink wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you call it. Just give it a little bit of time to soak in some of those lovely flavors and then we're going to move on you could if you want just cook it right this second but leaving it for that little bit of time just makes a little bit of difference so simple see you in a moment okay i've got a pan here with a little touch of oil in not too much because we've got oil remember in our meat i'm using the sunflower there but again if you wanted to use some more olive oil that'd be good Simply we're going to get our meat in there. And we're going to just throw this around in the pan for about four to five minutes on a kind of fairly lively heat. Just get it cooked a little bit. And then we have to slow cook it to kind of get it nice and tender. So I'll be back in like four, five, six minutes, something like that. There you go, that was our five minutes. As you can see, it's browned really nicely, but it's nowhere near cooked. I mean, absolutely nowhere near. That's really tough. I mean, this is a fairly kind of decent cut of lamb, but I'm telling you, there's no chance this is cooked yet. Next stage, some chili. I'm just gonna pop in two whole chilies. If you wanna chop them, up to you. I've got some very finely chopped garlic. Like a heat teaspoon, and again, now we're going to be adding quite a lot of onions to this, but they're not going in at this stage because I want to get this meat really tender first and full of flavour. And as you can see, we're certainly doing that. Next step for us is we're going to add some chopped tomatoes, doesn't matter how you chop them because they're gonna really completely break down into nothing. I'm then gonna add some cold water. Over that goes. I'm gonna lower the heat, not to a simmer, above a simmer, but lower it down a little bit. My lid's gonna go on, and I'm gonna be back here in about 20 to 30 minutes. Right, let's jump in now and take a look. A lot of steam's gonna come out of here, I'd imagine. Okay, we're gonna lower the heat now to a complete simmer. And as you can see, those tomatoes have really, they've just disappeared, they've completely broken down. We've got loads of liquid in there. And that liquid is what's helping our meat tenderize. It's really important this stage. And depending on the type of cut that you've got, you've got a kind of bit more of a tough, cheaper mutton or a really lean cut of lamb, you're still going to need to do this, but the process time will differ. That is looking amazing. Right, I'm now going to add onions. I've got some red onion I'm using today, but use a white if you want. And I've cut them really small. I mean really, really small. And there's gonna be quite a lot in here. I mean, there's 
just under the amount of lamb that we put in. So that's you know quite a lot. Let's get that in. Really important again that we cut these really small because we're going to cook this for some time now. And again, we want them to kind of cook down and break down. I'm also at this stage going to add some tomato paste. Maybe like three tablespoons that was. Good mix. And then the lid's gonna go back on this. And like I say, on a real simmer now, we're gonna cook this for about another 30 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Check it for salt as well. I mean, we're not great salt fans this end, but um, we've got some in there, we'll put on the meat, but check it again, you might need some extra. And I'll be back then. Okay, let's take a look now. I've just turned the heat off. There'll be a lot of steam coming out of this one. Wow, look at that. That is really, you can see it's thickened up really beautifully. Those onions have pretty much completely disappeared. That lamb is gonna be super, super tender now. Like I say, you can check this for salt. And if you like, you could maybe just add in some fresh parsley or something like that. That is gonna be absolutely delicious. It's incredibly tender. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, howtocookgreatfood.com.